Hi, great three. It's been a while. Last time I saw you around Friday, isn't it? Well, this is what I already promised to you. It's a review about this unit. Okay, so we're going to move fast. I'm going to just into the points that it's that is really important for all of you. So I'm gonna make it into double sided so we can see it better and move faster. Okay. Um so what you need to know is of course some keywords. Let me just zoom it in a little bit. Okay, some keywords over here. Of course you need to know that. You need to know about the rainforest, habitat, etc. All of the keywords in here. You could find the keywords in front of your book. I mean, in the several few pages at the front, there are the keywords over there. Now let's move on a little bit. So there are texts, of course. And these texts will help you to find about main idea. So always remember about the main idea, okay? The main idea can often find in the first or last sentences. So when when I ask or when someone asks about the main idea of the text, you can find it in the first or the last sentence. It will never be in the middle of the sentences because that ain't right. That's not right, okay? Let's move on. Okay, you you already learned about finding the main idea in the articles. That's great. Well done. Now, about the grammar. Okay. Here we are. We have what we call as past progressive. <clears throat> past progressive is we describe a continuous action or a state in the past so that means if it's already at the at maybe last time maybe last night maybe last week or wherever which is the last part which is it's which it already happened we use past progressive if it's continuous action so what are things that we can categorize as continuous action Swimming, walking. Well, you could also say that the angler's fish swam in the dark, which means the angler fish is not swimming anymore. But for this one, because it's a continuous one, so you can say the angler fish was swimming in the dark. Usually, we match it with another sentence which you will know a little bit more okay so it's it's also in this unit so don't worry i will just go into the point of the matter okay so past progressive means to describe a continuous action or a state in the past something it's already happened next one now you are talking or not we are talking about active listening so you all need to show interest you need to pay attention and you also need to ask questions when you want to be active <clears throat> a good listener will always try to look into the eyes of the other person it will not do something else. For example, like in here, Liam is doing something else while Kate is talking. While Emma is trying her best to find out what is Kate talking about. Okay, so please, students, please everyone, try the active listening. You have two ears for a reason. You To listen well. You don't have two mouths, you have two ears, okay? Okay, let's move on, okay? We talk about the brochure. All of you done it, all of you done it greatly. Well done. So, we need to know 
about possessive nouns, which means something that is someone's or something's belonging. We add the apostrophe s if we want to show, for example, in here, the ladybug's spots. That is only one ladybug. But if there are more than one, the ladybug's spots. Kind of unique because after the end, if it's already ended with S, we add another S. We just add the apostrophe, but we still say it with S. Okay, we need practice for that one. <clears throat> but that's fine. Okay, now next one, we skipped this one. Because I don't think you need this, but let me remind you, the, these are the keywords over here. You need to know more about it, okay? And then we read about this one. We read it, we try to find it out, the main ideas, what happened, and you're done greatly. You've done greatly. Although in this unit, I am sorry, in the class, okay? I'm kind of tired too back then. Okay, now let's move on to the grammar, the second grammar in this unit, which is interrupted past. This is what I said when it has a partner, when the present or the past progressive has a partner. So we use the past progressive and the simple past to indicate that a longer action in the past was interrupted. So in here, we have while we can also use when just let me remind you okay if the while or when is at the front that means you need to add a comma before moving on but it will be different if we say louisa heard a loud crash while she was brushing her teeth you don't need to add the comma over there so the comma only needed if the while or the when is at the front of the sentence. So in here, while Louisa was brushing her teeth, that means she is doing something. She heard something suddenly happened. Her brushing teeth her action brushing teeth is getting interrupted. So that's why we called it interrupted past. Okay. So it is something that happened suddenly sometimes. Okay. So that's about the interrupted past, the second unit, the, I mean the second grammar. And then lastly, you know about the main idea, you know about everything, right? You know about the main idea of things that we've already studied. So it's basically, that's all that I could give. This is the oracy performance tasks. You, you already done it. <clears throat> I hope. <laughs> well, I think that is the best thing that you could do. You can do it at your own. We cannot do it because it's still online, offline, it's still in pandemic. If we can already all in the, well, I'll, well, we'll see about that, okay? Okay, so that's it for the unit three, the main points that I want to say. These are the main points, okay? It's up to you if you want to study more about it, but please study not only from the worksheet nor this review, but also try to read the book because everything will be from the book, okay? That's it. That's all that I want to give to you, okay? Bye-bye.